Hello. In this video, we will be talking about how repair order workflow is displayed on Shopware. We will explain the different view options for work in progress and demonstrate how the workflow tab illustrates the progress of an RO through the shop. When you log into Shopware, you will land on the Jobs in the Shop page. This page has four tabs. The first three show the work in progress in different views. The fourth lists the completed work invoices. The Open Jobs tab is probably the most familiar looking as it is a simple list of jobs. An advantage to this view is the ability to sort. Clicking on a column header reorders the list. For example, you can cluster together all the waiting clients, or jobs needing parts, or according to any criteria you create in your labels and categories. This tab also has links to the customer pages. The My Jobs tab is best suited for techs without administrative responsibilities. Here, they can focus on just their assigned work. This tab shows the jobs in large cards. We see the status, label, customer and car, the time since the job was last transferred, and a button to transfer. All jobs on the RO are shown here. Clicking the transfer button here is identical to doing so on a repair order. It opens the modal where you can select the recipient, change the status, and leave a note. The Workflow tab is our focus today. It provides the best overall view of work in progress. ROs here are shown as small cards, very similar to the My Jobs tab. Here, the information is not labeled and some is only visual. The clock on these cards shows the time until due out. There is no transfer button, but you can drag and drop the card to another staff member to transfer. There is no place to leave a note this way, however. The order of the columns and rows can be changed on the staff page. Note that if a staff member is both a technician and advisor, they will be listed in the technician row. This button switches the tab between shop view and personal view. Shop view displays all current work orders. Personal view shows only the jobs you are connected with as an advisor or technician. Advisor cards will always be gray. Technician cards will be white if someone is clocked in on the RO, gray if not. The red border indicates a job that has been transferred but not yet accepted. Now let's walk through an RO process and see how the workflow tab behaves. To begin with, the job is shown in John's row. If we click on the card, the RO opens in a new tab. We see John is the advisor, and there is no technician assigned yet. The job is shown in both personal and shop view for John, but only appears in shop view for a technician JT. Once we assign the job to JT, it appears in his personal view. Then, when we transfer the job to him, we see it move to his column and display a red border, the border informing us the job has been transferred to him, but not yet accepted. JT accepts the job, and the border goes away. Once JT clocks onto the RO, the card turns white, and the current job title is shown. Having checked out the car, JT makes a recommendation and transfers the RO back to John for customer contact. Now we see the card in two places. It is still active in JT's column, as he is still clocked on. It is also shown in John's row with a red border informing us of the transfer status. John accepts the job, and the border disappears. JT clocks off, and the card is in one place now. John discusses with the customer and approves the recommendation. He then transfers it back to JT, and so on and so on, until the job is closed and disappears from the workflow tab altogether. Thank you for watching this video on using the workflow tab. We hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, please contact our support team.